Hello, hello, it's Vero, and we're back in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Um, still got broken legs. Still don't know exactly what I'm doing. But I know I'm done reading that book, so let's drop that off. Self-esteem for dummies. Might as well. Hmm. Oop. That was a weird noise. Okie doke. Come on, legs. Heal. Not that broken legs normally heal that quickly, so I don't know. They might have uh, they might have changed the way broken leg healing works. It might take a little bit longer now. That would overall make more sense. Hey, intelligence up to fourteen. Happy about that. Let's see. Oh yeah, the soup before it goes off. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably enough. Okay. Oh, do I actually have... Got my speech up to three. Okay, got my speech up to three, which I'll almost certainly never use. But that's fine. Cooking to eight needs cooking level five. What is my cooking at? Cooking is at four. So once I get it up one more little bit, it'll be up enough for me to do some stuff with. So that might be a goal. Let's see what kind of pre-prepped long-term cooking stuff we can do. That's good. I'll do one of those. Yeah, salt water. And any other things that keep non-perishable. Granola keeps. Don't know if it'll give me any skill, though. We're basically up at this point and oh cookies cookies will stay good and I can use strawberries to make cookies so this is one way that I can turn strawberries into something that will not rot got maple syrup uh, it's gonna use a lot of my dried rice but heck with it um, actually, come to think of it, this is probably the kind of thing I want to do one at a time. Cookie. Yeah, dried rice. Um, don't think any of those rot, so we'll just go with some strawberry. It's going to use a lot of paper, well, not a lot of paper, but... Cookie. Dry, dry. Two, 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 one, one. Okay. Two, one, one. Look at all the cookies I'm making. Yay, cookies. Uh, drink some water. Do I have any cookies left? I'm not sure if I have any cookies in the house, but uh, let's see, drop. Probably shouldn't be eating cookies right now anyway, because I'm just still getting over a cold. So, cookie. Two, two, one, one. This is super exciting, I know, I'm fully aware. Okay. Cookie. C is for cookie. If you're not aware, that is indeed good enough for me. Um, how is that doing my cooking skill? Is that gone up? If it has, it hasn't gone up by much. Let's uh, let's go see if I can go to bed. Start healing my legs. Yeah. Come on, legs. You know you want to heal. Uh, what does this do again? Fine, we'll turn that on. <sighs> oh, it's almost light again. Good. I can make more cookies. Oh, wait, I can do that anyway. Because I have to have a fire. So. 
Okay, two, one, one. Hey, that didn't work. Um, drop. Then do it. Okay. That's true. I don't know why I wasn't doing this before. I can just. There we go. Seven. I'm up to eighty-five. That's good. Uh, not a lot going on right now. Just making cookies. What two at a time? Four at a time. Probably four at a time. Just four cookies at a time on a what easy bake brazier brazier that uh, I'm fueling with a single sheet of paper. Yeah. I love I love realism. Um da -da -da -da. nice. Increase to five. I can now read what will ever will I eat? I'll just eat some strawberries. Good enough. Yay, a book I'm really going to enjoy. Uh, let's make sure I've got something that I actually will enjoy with me. Uh, we'll go for an adventure novel. Still quite early in the morning, so... I'm going to get mad cooking skill off of this. I think I, re I remember why the books were over here. The books were over here so I could have access to the recipes. Huh. Maybe I could put, the, I might want to put the weapons down there and put the books back up here. And live enough of cookies and water. Okay, how long before that wears off? Why am I hot? Okay, where am I hot? My legs are super uncovered. Hands and feet are hot. Mouth is hot. Okay, what am I wearing that I don't need to be wearing? Let's drop the motorcycle helmet. I'm not out and about. Let's drop a pair of socks. Let's drop the gloves. Chest rig. <laughs> Duffel bag. Drop all the pads. And that should. Okay, torso and feet are still hot. Let's drop the vest and the boots. There we go. That should improve my mood soon enough. Am I thirsty? No. Okay, so let's... Oh, wow. Okay, so... Hmm. <coughs> Let's put this back on so I can pick up this adventure novel and read it. Okay, and let's get back to reading this. Cooking seven. Now, does that actually give me any new cooking recipes? Not really. But I can start to make pemmican, which is quite nice. Start to make vodka wort and vegetable aspic. Okay. Cattle fodder. Don't remember that being there. Chili con carne. Okay, some of this stuff was probably there and some of it wasn't. Wow, now look at all the new chemicals I can make. I probably need a chemistry set. Chemical making, yep. So chemistry, onboard chemistry lab, but I can't make a chemistry set. Why not? Nope, okay. This means my soup has gone bad because it's not showing up. That is very sad. Um, so we are gonna have to do some cooking. I'm 
into my paper. And I'm also going to need my campfire drill. Thank you. A. B. Da -dum. Okay. So, things I can make that probably will still be okay for me to eat. That would be fine. Some lasagna. Water. How much can I, can I make? Got two canned chickens. Canned chicken. Uh, that's kind of a waste of canned food. Um, fried dandelions. That'll do. some water and some more water yay okay now what was I doing I'm reading a book that I hate let's get a little bit more happiness and then let's go again never gonna get up to it that's fine um, let's drop the book this one and that one for now Uh, we can drop both of these, drop all the food. <coughs> okay. Can I get to bed? I would like to get to bed. I'd like my legs to start healing, please. For a fader. Okay, good. I guess. Uh, it's not exactly what I was going for. I'd like my legs to heal up, please. suppose it takes time. Uh, yeah, just drink it. I want to be slaked. It's way... Well, it's not way too early, but it's a bit too early for me to think about doing anything else. I really can't go out into the world while my legs are broken. My speed is so slow. It's basically just asking to get murdered. Let me have a sip of my drink. Mm. Which means we're back to crafting. So let's take a look at skills again. Uh, suppose I could continue working on first aid, try to get that up to three. Again, I'm not really that comfortable with the idea of walking around town smashing in windows, but... Where, 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 where? Okay. And then let's actually sort it out so it all makes sense. So, I would like the leather vest under the chest rig. I would like... Yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's wear our underwear on the inside of our pant, our trousers. That'd be great. Drop leg pouches. Yeah, that's fine. Both of my pairs of socks in my boots. There we go. I'm hot again. That's fine. Why don't I go get my cart? Mm, tear down all the curtains. Kidoke. This is, uh, is going to be really good for making splints. Should be able to make quite a lot from doing this, simply because I'm getting also long sticks. So like right now, I've got there more than five actual splints ready to be made, but I've got the, the sticks for five. Let's see, two by fours. Yeah, let's take those. Tear 
down. What? There's just been a box of sugar in here? How have I not grabbed that? That is a bunch of sheet metal? Mm. I have not been doing my job. Just wear the sheet for now. Okay. Okay, that thing is full. Um, I'm still going to take off this one sheet though because it's awkward. Okay, so we head back, make a bunch of splints. Not sure how much it actually gives. Okay, but there we go. Splint, first aid. Yep, long string, heavy stick. String, heavy stick. First aid has increased to two. Okay, now, first of all, now that's increased to two, can I do something else that would make more sense? <laughs> First aid, anything, anything, anything. First aid kits again, that's difficulty zero. Okay, saline solution. I just need salt. How do I get salt? Lye powder or bleach? And a tool with chemical making. Okay, or 10 hickory roots. Rock salt. Salt water. Hmm. Don't see any easy sources of salt water. Often, if you can see some swamp around, then you know you're pretty sold there. I don't know where you could get rock salt. Uh, more importantly, I'm not really in a position to go adventuring, so that's a bummer. Um, skill, first aid, anything else? It's really saline solution is the best. Now, am I still getting experience? No, I'm not getting any more experience from making these splints. Hmm. I guess it's just going to have to be times in which I actually use uh, first aid items. Which is a bit of a bummer, really. Clothing. Okay. Um, just get my first date up to two. I need a book. I need a good book. It's six in the morning. Absolutely no evidence that my legs have really started to heal. Well, let's face it, at this point, let's go sit on your porch. And smoke a joint. So what, I got a roach? I got a roach. Oh, well, smoky in here. Don't I have fertilizer? I thought I did. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Fertilizer, fertilizer, fertilizer. It does not appear that I do have fertilizer, which is fine. Now, what I do have and think is a washing thing. Washboard. Thought so, yeah, let's get that. Let's 
get all this dirty stuff out. Okay, and let's see if we can A, use the washboard. Uh, use detergent. Nice! Okay, this is the first time I've ever washed anything in this game. Uh, might as well be doing housework. Can't go out. Broken legs. Just finding things to do. <laughs> okay. That's nice. That's all that dirty stuff gone. Um, hockey mask. Now, what? What are the? What's the details of a hockey mask? Cumbered's twenty. Eyes and mouth, but no head protection. Okay. Hmm, armor. Head. Leather armor helmet. Oh, tanning. I'm sure I've got some stuff to tan. Uh, that's probably in here. Okay, got a bunch of pelts. Not sure how well those will work, but cured pelt. Just need fire. That's fine. I've got fire, or I will shortly. Mm, where's all my paper? There it is. Okay. on me yep okay so pelt come on come on come on come on five cured pelts that's what I'm talking about so let's have some water I need to stay healthy and let's have some fried dandelions keep my energy up now um, done those pelts what about Tanning for pelts. Or, rather, do I want hides? I probably want hides. So, let's clean those up. Hide, tanning leather hide. Hops, flower, pine bows, tan bark. How much? Up. I guess I will go. I'm going to do three with the tan barks, two with the pine bows. Don't have enough saline solution. I do have enough salt water plus saline solution. And I've got enough tallow. So we're going to need to go water, tan bark. Hmm, I don't have enough tallow. Okay, that's interesting. Water, pine bough, saline. Can I make more tallow? Yes, I can. That's fine. Just use a little bit of batteries and finally tanning. Yep. Okay, got a bunch of tanning leather hides. Happy with that. <clears throat> Just shifting two by fours. Ah, just leave it alone. Being silly. Drop them. Drop them. Just dropping off all the stuff I'm not using, of which is mostly everything.
Okay, so I'm not really sure what to do now. Um, obviously, get hydrated, get full. No, okay, but legs still aren't healing, which is mildly concerning. They are recovering, according to this. Why am I wielding a long string? How about we wield a punch dagger instead? Yeah. Something. Uh, da -da 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 Let's see. We've got cookies. We've got whiskey. Can I make something with my whiskey? Acetic acid, that's not what I'm going for. Joint, super glue, come on. Mutagen, I can make mutagen, that's interesting. Um, in reality, can just about barely make it. Uh, I would need a chemical making of three, and I'm nowhere near that. How's my fabrication? It's six. Survival's four. Tearing four, mechanics. I'm not sure why I can't make a chemistry set yet. Hmm. Probably the best bet for me at this point is to wander around and see if I can't find. Uh, an old meth lab. Get the chemistry set out of there. Mm. Why am I wandering around? This is foolish. I need to just be sleeping, basically, and reading books. But I don't have any books to read, so let's just lay in bed. And occasionally get some food. Okay, let's eat a bunch of dandelions. They're so very healthy. Um, not sure you really should eat them in this quantity though, but well, what can you do? <clears throat> How many logs do I have? I've got four logs. I could go get more logs. There's trees right up there, so. Something to do, something to do. Got a filthy game watch. I should take care of that after. Right now, the only thing we're going to take care of is chopping down some trees. Let's start with this one. Um, oh, that's not a proper tree. That's like a little bush. There we go. Back in the day, that's what trees used to look like. They used to be these little sort of single square structures. Now they're multiple square structures. And my mind has not fully fully embraced or gotten around that. So, in case I mess it up. That's six more. I can get two more. And then I am good to go. That's a nice big... Oh, what's this? Uh... Did I not actually put it in the cart? No, I didn't. Okay, didn't actually put it in the cart. Silly me. Let's chop down this tree as well. Wow, these are tiny trees. Not that excited about these particular trees. Sometimes you get them and they've got five layers Okay, that plus two more for my existing log pile, and I'm ready to make charcoal. Okie doke. Okay. 
Fire the Kiln. Tons of charcoal incoming. How is... This thing's pretty good on charcoal. I should make... I really need to make a charcoal cooker. Um, <clears throat> charcoal smoker. I need one metal tank. That's doable. Just a makeshift welder for now. Charcoal smoker. Yep. Uh, I just use the let's see soldering iron, seventy-five charges. Normal welder. It's just the most efficient. So let's use a normal welder. Okay. Now should be able to load this guy up. I V load. There we go. We've got a charcoal cooker. Let's just drop this thing on the ground so I know where it is. And now I can cook a lot of stuff without having to worry about it. Mostly I can smoke meat even once it's gone slightly bad and end up with something that still is edible. Feeling like a crispy cranberry. Drink. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Uh, I guess one thing I could do is I could start working on expanding on my vehicle. Now, I've cleared out enough of the local area where if it's safe for me to actually walk around, I don't have to worry about fights. I can probably bring this thing back little bit and install maybe just even just three bits back here some uh, so much call it some utility stuff so maybe another trunk here and then a welding rig I'm not gonna need an online forge but a welding rig will, will allow me to take apart and repair it and stuff 24 battery that's one good thing me not traveling around Still have probably a huge amount of gasoline here. Um, I've got tons of vehicle stuff around, should I want it. Um, any, I need a mobile meth wagon. Mobile meth lab. Hello? Oh, wow. I clearly took this car apart. Um, a lot of poor quality frames that will need to be repaired before they're of any use to anybody. Yeah, I don't care. What are tainted bones good for? Uh, tainted bone meal. What's tainted bone meal good for? Mm -hmm. Bones, tainted tanning. Okay. Tainted bone meal. What is it good for? Well, why don't we check that? Bone meal. Okay, nothing. I can't do anything with tainted bone meal yet. Not as of now. Okay, just wandering about town, looking at stuff. Ooh, what's it say? A lot of dead mothers. Hmm. Even before the apocalypse, there's been a lot of dead mothers. Uh, we are getting on towards half an hour. Possibly past half an hour, I think. Oh, this is a bit of foraging I can do. Try to get my survival up. Ooh, mushrooms. Just what am I? What am I looking for out here? Uh, ooh, time. Actually, I can make some time oil. I'm not sure. I think I'm already better than that in terms of my first aid, but be useful to have around.
Okay, I'm at 83. What is that? Mugwort? Okay. Not even sure what mugwort is for. People are horrible, man. Look at all this litter. It almost makes you glad there's been an apocalypse. Can't take care of the earth. You don't deserve it. Okay, let's just get those for future tanning efforts. So there's another one. <clears throat> let's see, how are we doing? 85%. It goes real slow. Uh... It is not a quick way to level your uh, survival. I mean, it's an effective one with very little inputs and very little that can go wrong. If anything can go wrong, I'm not sure. I guess wandering out in the woods, you could easily get into uh, some bad scenarios, but it wouldn't be something wrong with the foraging itself. It would just be uh, being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I have the egg reptile just inside my duffel bag. Um, da -da -ba -da -ba -da. What's that? Plum tree? Yeah, I love plums. I love pit fruit. This is one of the downsides of winter is the, I mean, you get clementines, which I like. You get some good citrus. You get persimmons, uh, or otherwise known as Sharon fruit, depending on where you live. But you don't get the, the pit fruits, and I really love, or again, as they call them here, stone fruits. Oh, they're like my favorite. Apricots are probably my favorite fruit of all time. Apricots and peaches are mm, amazing. Plums are pretty close, but... For me, I think what's joyful about the apricot is how easily you can just twist it uh, in half and then just shove one half into your mouth. It's just, it's a two it's a two bite fruit with very little chance of getting uh, juice everywhere, which apparently for me is a major selling point. I'm a bit fastidious, don't like getting messy. What can you say? been like that since I was a child. I remember my mother telling me stories where she would be splashing me with like a uh, dirty water, you know, like like kids often play with in the puddles. And I'd be like, "Ah, oh, stop it. Gross." Just <laughs> like a 3-year-old. So, hmm. don't know what that means other than I was a weird 3-year-old. What are we at? Survival, 90%. Oh my god, it's so slow. It's so slow. Okay, more pine bows. That's that's uh, bows. Bows, bows. Not sure. I suppose you could probably say it either way. I mean, it is deck the halls with bows of holly, so it's probably bow. More garlic. I don't need more garlic. I'm never going to eat all the garlic I have. Barb, we'll take some barbed wire. I don't know why. I just take some, pick up some barbed wire I found in the bushes. In reality, you would do stuff like that in a survival situation. Just anything you could find that you think, oh, that might be useful. Especially in a post-apocalypse situation, which you now have a lot more space and you don't have to pay rent. I feel like rent and the the idea of having to sort of pay for the space you use makes a huge impact in how people behave around the things they own. 
I mean, if you're super wealthy, it's kind of irrelevant. You can just get whatever you want and you can just buy the space to put it in. But for, I think, a lot of people, there's a lot of things that people want that it's like space is actually an issue. And that's kind of absurd when you think about exactly how much of this earth is still completely open and available. It's just a, this mad system in which we've allowed a very small minority of human beings to claim ownership over the entirety of the earth and then charge everyone else for the right to live on it. It's just completely insane functionally. I mean, I'd say, I guess it's a great system if you happen to climb to the top of it. If you're a rentier and you're basically making a lot of your money, you're basically surviving off of other people paying you for the right to live in the space that you've convinced them that you own. Um, you may have rightfully inferred from that comment that I don't actually believe in land ownership. I don't. I know it's a, it's a controversial topic, but I, I don't think that it makes sense for people to own things they didn't create that will last past their existence. You know what I mean? Like, if you didn't create something, but it's going to be gone before you're gone, and you're going to make use of it, and then it'll be gone. I mean, like owning a bit of food that you picked off of a tree. Like you got there first, you picked it. I mean, that's fine. But then you know, there's always the question of what about owning more than you can use? Does it make sense as a society that we allow people to own just so much more than they will ever be able to use to the detriment of every other person on the planet? Seems a bit absurd to me. You may disagree. That is your right. Well, it's not your right. Rights are a complete illusion. Uh, that is your power. You literally have the capacity to disagree with me. Uh, rights are irrelevant in this context. So... This is the problem. When there's nothing particularly compelling or interesting to do in the game, I just start talking about philosophy and stuff like that. And That's going to be how I piss off people and eventually lose people off my relatively small subscriber list. Nevertheless, it is what it is. Let's see. What time is it? It's 5.30. I might take a, I'm gonna take a quick nap just to, oh, or I'll just go right to sleep. Just go out like a light. Didn't anticipate that. It was, uh... How are those legs coming, huh? Mostly recovered. Mostly recovered. Look at that. Mostly recovered. I'm excited. Uh, <clears throat> the acid scarring that has destroyed my legs is mostly recovered. That being said, it's one in the morning. Let's get some light and figure out what we want to do. In fact, let's figure out what we want to do first. An entrenching tool. Hmm. That might not be a bad idea just to get my fabrication up. I'm sure I must get some new stuff once my fabrication goes up. Um, let's just drop a bit of paper there. Can I still make one? Okay. Too far from the anvil, I think. Wrenching. There we go. So that's a D entrenching tool. Uh, use chunks. Come on, 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 come on. You can do it. Nice. And got my fabrication up a little bit, I think. Why don't I take these? All right, dandelions, stay with me. Twenty-eight days, five days, two days. These plums are not going to last. Let's make sure we eat them before they go. It'd be very sad to lose some some plums. Is there a way to go to the next page? 
Oh, that that kind of does it. Okay. What else can we make that might be nice to have? Why can I not make another entrenching tool? Ah, you need to stand in the center of the room, really, to see everything that's available. Sledgehammer, steel chain, bunch of crap, really. Oh, part of this is because the books are down here. So I'm, I'm, I am going to move the weapons, switch the weapons with the books. I just want to put the weapons with the CBMs. Hopefully, this means I'll be able to access them and their recipes. Yeah, I know I realized I moved a bunch of other crap over there. That's fine. There we go. getting this recipe from because I don't have the skill for it fundamentally in electronics ah 101 crafts for beginners and and under the hood okay hand press and die set I don't have one of those hmm Honey, vacuum ceiling, how awkward it is. You're still going to need a normal kitchen and how it doesn't take batteries. Yeah, okay, that's true. It does water purify, but I would need to actually have an RV kitchen unit as well. So that's long-term stuff there. Lye powder. I needed lye powder to make salt, didn't I? Was that, was that correct? I needed it to make salt. Yeah. 100 lye powder will allow me to make salt. Ah, with cooking stuff, which I don't have. So. That'll get me some mushrooms. Let's just do three of them for now. Okay, doke. We got some food planting. Mostly recovered. Be recovered. Okay, what about sugar? Can I make sugar? Chemical making, tool with boiling, sweet water. Sweet water. I could do that. So I could make sugar if I've got sugar or candied honey and maple syrup. So I can make it straight out of maple syrup by making sweet water first. I need chemical making. Mm. I'm gonna have to go look for a vehicle. Oh, and I'm probably gonna need to bring some stuff if I'm doing that, like a toolbox. And possibly a welder. And that means I also am going to need my welding goggles. So, yes. Okay. Come on, meth. <laughs> I don't actually want meth for myself personally. I just, I just want a meth van. Yeah, none of these are meth vans. Not meth vans. A lot of wildlife. Hmm, long strings. Take those. Oh, 
do I have my axes? I do have my axes. So that's okay. Meth Van Pliz. My arms are fine, so this should be okay. No. Let's get the fat while we're here. Mmm, gooey fat. Nope. I'm um, not going that way. See how much faster they are than me right now? When walking, at least. That right there is the result of having broken, janky legs. So, didn't bring anything to drink. Waiting does not have the same problem. Okay, not seeing any meth vans. I'm probably going to cut across and look on this set of roads over here. Um, but I don't want to deal with the skeleton because they are problematic. Need some way to dry this fruit, probably. Need to make some fruit leathers or something like that. Anything good over here? Hammer, yellow carpet, lump of steel. Not really. Ah. Having said, look at these solar panels. They look like they're in good shape. Yeah, not the best shape, but pretty good shape. Now, do you have a storage battery? You do, it's crazy heavy, it's in bad condition. We'll leave it for now. Well, probably forever, because I'm never going to remember this was a solar car, looking at it. Don't need scissors, thank you. What I need is a mobile meth lab. This is like the one of the first games I played in ages where you just can't find a mobile meth lab when you want one. Usually they're everywhere. Okay, well, first of all, uh, we'll just go note solar car down here. What on earth is going over there? Um, have I not been around this town? Have I not cleared this bit out? I guess I have not. <clears throat> I've clearly been around here, but I have not cleared it out. Is that a tailor's kit? Yeah. Salt! I have found salt. That's what I need to uh, get a little bit forward on my first aid training. I think that was it. I think I mean I know I was trying to make salt. Was it was it making salt was the thing that was going to help me? I think it was making saline solution, which. If I'm correct, I can now do. My computer is suddenly being incredibly slow. Why? 
Sometimes this does this in certain areas of the game, and I'm not really clear on why. Oh, there we go. Let's pick back up. If you know why it does that, please let me know. I'm very curious. <clears throat> okay. We're on our way home. We're on our way home. We're going home. You and I have memories longer than the road that stretches out ahead. Okay, so let's drop a bunch of food. Get items, solar panels. Okay, no. Let's just drop them directly. Don't need you. You sit in the hallway and think about what you've done. Helping me get all these wonderful supplies. Ugh. Um, drugs and stuff. Don't really need 34 of these. Um, let's drop 28 of them. Don't actually really need 70 aspirin. Let's drop 60. The wood axe, the welder, the tailor's kit, the syringe, the entrenching tool. Okay, let's get some food in me now. Start with some, let's see, let's just, uh, plums, start with plums, because they don't last forever, and they're delicious. Okay, plums are done. Two days, mushrooms. I'd rather cook them. But fried dandelions. I apparently keep throwing everything back in here quite habitually, not holding on to the stuff that I'm actively using. Sounds about right. Okay, good to go. Um, I think I'm going to see if my character is ready to, to go to bed. How about if I ask you again? Third time's the charm? Yeah, that's, I thought so. Legs work. Still mostly recovered. Well, there we go. Meanwhile, the video has gone to almost an hour. That's a little bit longer than I intended, so I'm going to stop it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and all that. If you didn't, then mm, saw you. Um, I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, regardless, uh, take care of yourself. You know, be aware if you're, depending on where you are in the world, you got to watch out for that Australian flu. Uh, make sure you've inoculated your computer against Meltdown and Spectre. If you don't know what Meltdown and Spectre are, then look into it. Based on the reading I've done as a gamer, I don't anticipate that patching my computer, which hopefully Microsoft will have a patch out for us soon, uh, will dramatically affect how my games operate. It might affect my video editing a bit more. It might make that a bit slower. But honestly, I just do that and then I go do something else most of the time once it's once it's actually creating the video. So, either way, have a good day. Take care of yourself and you will hear me when you hear me. <laughs>